Hello, thank you for joining us. I'm Ashley Evans, and you're watching Black Onyx, bringing you face to face with some of South Africa's most talented asset managers. And today I'm joined by Len Jordan, who's head of ETFs at ABSA. Thank you so much for joining us, Len. Thank you for having me. How do you reduce dips? The first way we do, and this is, this is really the logic behind our low volatility fund, is that we only purchase shares that have a low volatility relative to the market. So we look at standard deviation as, as a measure of volatility, and then we also look at the relative volatility of the stock relative to the market. So that, that's, called, that's called beta. We'll pick shares that have a low standard deviation and have a low beta. And typically what you're trying to do is you're trying to reduce the peaks and troughs of the share price that you experience on a, on a daily basis. And that strategy uh, proves to outperform by a little bit most of the time. And obviously over very long periods of time, that little bit of outperformance that you get over shorter time periods tends to build up quite nicely. As an example, the market has returned 4% year to date. Um, our low volatility fund has, has returned 11% year to date. And it tends to hold up quite nicely in, um, in, in bear markets as well. So when the market's going down, low volatility tends to be quite a resilient uh, risk factor. Can these strategies be used in unit trusts and ETFs? Yes, absolutely. Um, it's possible to systematize how you allocate to the shares. So you can, you know, as long as you can write the methodology that you're following into an index, you can then structure a unit trust or an ETF that simply tracks the index. There's no active management involved. We don't employ you know, five analysts that, that pour over uh, co company financial statements. We can, we can systematize everything that we do. The model tells us what to buy and the asset manager just, just buys what the model tells him. So there's no second guessing involved. It means that we, we might buy shares that where there's some sort of a price anomaly coming out. But as I mentioned, we try to reduce that risk by not taking excessive exposure to any one share at any point in time. How do you compare to some of your peers? We don't really have uh, many peers in the South African market. Uh, I think APSA is one of the few uh, product providers that provides single factor or single risk premium exposure. We stack up really well from a, a performance perspective. So uh, our momentum fund has returned almost 20% year to date and our low volatility fund has performed, as I said, 11% uh, year to date. That's the two best performing uh, equity uh, ETFs in the South African landscape. The only ones that have performed better are the, are the commodity funds. Uh, you know, gold and platinum have had a really good time. And then the S&P 500 in RAND has also done really well because the RAND has, has done extremely poorly this year. So we, we stack up uh, pre pretty well from, uh, you know, relative to our peers. And, and we're really satisfied with the performance that we've been getting. Even our value fund, which hasn't performed very well, the feedback that we're getting from the market is that people uh, expected value to perform quite poorly in the current environment and that our index fund is performing as expected. Len, thank you so much for joining us and thank you for watching Black Onyx.